stagnation persists, what does it lead to? Illness. <laughs> so this is something that finally gets our attention when we get sick. And I go, oh, wow, something went wrong. So what's the cure for stagnation? Movement. You do your sadhana because that's what you do to stay healthy and sane. It's part of your daily hygiene. You know, it's like taking a shower, brushing your teeth. In Ashtanga Yoga, of course, we have primary series, Yoga Chikis. So Abhyasa means practice. We must practice. Probably you've noticed that that's a prerequisite as far as yoga is concerned. You need to practice it before it does you any good. Right? Just thinking about it doesn't do you much good. It's a fairly lengthy process. Those of you who have been practicing a while maybe have discovered you get through one layer and what do you find underneath that? Another layer. Many layers are there. So, it's really, it's a lifelong process. So, it's a work in progress, so to speak. In fact, one of the words for a yogi is an abhyasi. An abhyasi is a practitioner. So, that's a prerequisite to be a yogi, is you have to practice. I mean, it's not like you get up in the morning and say, oh, should I practice today? <laughs> No, I'm feeling a little stiff and feeling a little sore. I could have gotten a little more sleep last night. I ate kind of late. Maybe I'll just blow it off today. Do you have that option? I mean, if you're really going to be a yogi, but we need to practice with an interesting, from an interesting perspective, with vairagyabhyam, with with Viagra. Vairagyabhyam <laughs> means with non-attachment. So, we need to practice, but we practice with non-attachment. Non-attachment to what? Yeah, non-attachment to anything. It's really that uh, keeps us stuck. Human beings seem to be fairly prone to attachment. Have you noticed? Mind is very sticky. The body is very sticky. Heart also very sticky. Many things seem to get stuck inside. 